evening, everybody, and welcome back to Fallout Shelter. How y'all doing? Welcome to March. It is March. Spring will be right around the corner. And we got some, speaking about being around the corner, we got some people around the corner out there doing quests. I want to go do them right now. Get your peanuts here. Case the Capture Canine and a Vault Experiment Review. So let's go check and see what we got going on here. We got Search for Rob Jobbins' Jersey, number eight. Explore the Mattress Factory. John Drzinski's got the guy. Got the guy. <laughs> That's a joke I think I used last time. Okay, so the Raiders didn't lead us to coach. It was worth a shot. Maybe he's taking a nap in the old mattress factory. Maybe he is. Maybe he isn't. Who knows? And then we're also going to do the case of the captured canine, which is part one of the five-part series in the, uh, the detective case files. And this is the Nick Valentine stuff. You've discovered some unsolved case files of the legendary wasteland detective Nick Valentine. First up, the case of the captured canine. And after we do that, we are going to do... Uh, the vault -Tec review, woohoo! Which is just vault -Tec wants to check up on some of their experiments, of course, and we'll go do that. So, but first, let's go take on the vault -Tec. Uh Let's go, actually, let's go right to get your peanuts here. Let's go do that one first. Alrighty. Search for Rocky Jobbins' baseball jersey. Get your peanuts here. Beer here. Beer, oh, this is, no, not that big one. Oh, there we go. Let's see, let's start off in, immediately, or are we going to you know, have to go through some shit to get there? Nope. Uh, go, just go through some shit to get there. All right. So in addition to being March, the, the comes in like a lion and goes out like a lamb. Oh, yeah, the jersey are not here. Rats. Well, shit. Okay. We're going to just keep doing that every five seconds. The, uh, and then we got these things to deal with. But, uh, you know, it's already March. Oh, uh, my God, the, the year is just flying by already. Uh, I have just recently turned 42. My birthday was this week. I am a March baby. Baby. And uh, I can tell you a lot of things about being 42. It's not that bad. Apart from being the uh, answer to the ultimate question about the life, the universe, and everything. And uh, speaking, we are talking about... Jackie Robinson, uh, Racky Robinson's baseball jersey. I think he, uh, Jackie Robinson was number 42. Uh, you know, that, I, I worked it all together. How about that? I love how I tie these things together with little bows, you know? Uh, I've, I've, you know, I, I've gone through a lot of changes in the last few years. Nothing like that, of course. But just in general, my outlook on life, uh, what, you know, we, we, I've talked, I've thought about things about, you know, being in my 40s now and, Finding more and more gray hair in places I really didn't want to find hair that was gray, uh, let alone on top of my head. <laughs> um, but besides that, just in general, what do you do? Like I've I've talked before about how I am dreading one day my parents leaving this this earth and having to uh, you know not have them around because you know parents are always good for counsel if you have that opportunity to have a good solid you know relationship with your parents. But to, you know, realize that my parents were of a generation that didn't hoard things, but they didn't throw away anything because it could be used because you didn't always have access to stuff. Not that you couldn't get afford new stuff, that you just couldn't get stuff. We've talked about that before. But the house is a just a trove of, of hoarded junk and things that have parts to stuff and everything else. My dad's, the garage, we have a, there's a second garage. There's an, uh, a, a, a um, separate standalone garage that's like two bays with a door on it and it's just full of stuff i mean just full to the brim of, of stuff workshop stuff and i'm not looking forward to that type of uh you know to having to clean all that out one day but beyond that i've tried in my life i've started to realize about becoming a minimalist um it's it's sort of bled over from whoops from a design aspect um being a graphic designer, uh, you know, I say graphic designer loosely. I make funny pictures to put on shirts for the internet. That's, you know, my definition of what I do is graphic design. But the idea that I've wanted to create these huge, big... Uh-oh, okay. These huge, big designs, these very intricate designs, and that's a great thing. If you can do that, that's great. But sometimes less is more. Sometimes if you want to try to get the point across, especially if you're trying to get a point across about... a certain, um, like, a theme or, or message, you know, something simple. Sometimes the simplest designs are, in the cleanest designs, are the best designs. 
we talked about this before with coding and stuff like that. The elegant design, doing something that is so simple that just follows a, a very linear path and does what it's supposed to do with not a lot of bloat to it. You don't want to, you know, you, you do not want to have a you know, bloviate your uh, design of, uh, in code and you know, just go on forever about nothing idly and just, you know, exp just for the sake of having it in there. Just it, it can cause trouble, especially if you have things that have to evolve over time. I might not have used the word bloviate there correctly, but I will stand by it in that choice at this moment. Um, but the idea that you can have a, an evolving work that if something should happen to it, you need to be able to evolve it and, and move around it and not have to be stuck in, and stuck in this paradigm where you have to follow these certain rules. I, I experience, uh, experience it every day in my work. Um, I've, I've sort of, you know, become this uh, champion for let's stick to the out-of-the-box functionality of things because as we are committed... Oh, ain't no Jersey here! I bet it was Randy that said that. I bet. It was Randy Campbell. Yep. <laughs> um, as we get further along the... Um, you know, we, we, are, we are mandated to, to update and upgrade or patch our software that we use uh, on a quarterly basis and usually upgrade every year. And we are currently going through one now, and we're finding a lot of things that broke because we customized it. And the problem is, is that when you customize things, you don't allow for the intended purpose by the designer to be updated. Because you're now, you're hamstring to these, these concepts that you've put in there. And I've said, listen, if we're going to be have to committedly, we're not the ones doing the up upgrades. It's them. If it was our own software and we wanted to make those changes, I can understand that. But that's just like saying, you know, every time you want to mod a, um, like a, a game like Skyrim or Fallout or something like that, or, or you know, Grand Theft Auto, that when they update the, the you know, the, the game itself, it could break what you've intended to be modded, and then you have to go back and fix that. And eventually, it's going to get to the point where your mods will no longer work because something they've done violates the uh, agreement between those two types of so of, of code. Uh, again, with the coming up empty, arg. But that's it. Get your peanuts here. We got peanuts. I guess meaning we came up with peanuts. Nothing. But that's the idea I try to get to is like in everything, uh, a design, if I want to like update it later on, I want to make sure it's clean and, and simple because then I can go back easily and, and, and take care of it. Just like um, my house. I want to try to get rid of the, the clutter and, and, and the lo clean lines and, and clean spaces and places, you know, memories and, you know, not a lot of material junk tchotchkes, you know, hunky it up as we call it. But it, it's hard to do that. It's hard to do that when you when you spend a, a so many uh, so much amount of time filling up a home with things that you realize that you really don't need. And we'll talk more about that on the next quest. But for now, we're finished with this one. We searched for nothing, and we got nothing. And we're gonna come back and go back out. But we did get a, 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 a an X01 Mark One power armor, a Yao Guy hide, and a military duct tape. So that's not a wasted trip. All right, we're going to just bring them back in now because we got stuff. We got plenty of, of Nuka-Cola Quantums, and I want to get these set guys set up for the next time. We won't bring them in yet. We won't bring them in yet, but we'll bring them at the door. So we'll go to the next one now. And that's going to be the case of the captured canine. Here we go. Rescue the dog from feral ghouls. Yeah. Uh, does that mean we're going to get a dog? We're going to get a pet out of this one, I think? Possible? It's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big, big building. And nothing in the first room. Which is the way I like it, I said. I like having minimalist. No, I mean, my house, I've got... It's a three-bedroom house. A full furnished basement, kitchen, dining room area, living room, attic, back porch that's covered, and we've talked about that before. Um, I, I don't, I feel it's very hard to move around the space and I'm a big guy and I don't really have a lot of, 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 you know, dexterity and, and, and finesse. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I bought that big furniture a couple of years ago and I'm like, oh, I should have thought about this really before I did it. But I have a, you know, I have a curio cabinet that's right in front of me right now. I'm looking at, I'm a, I'm, I would like to get an office set up officially, officially instead of what I've used. Uh, I've got, a, you know, the, this big, huge honking entertainment center. It's got my all my stuff on it. I got a bookcase or like a little cabinet behind me with a bunch of books in it from when Bailey was a baby. I got a hutch. I mean, I got so much stuff that I'm never going to use, and it's it's from a different time of my life actually. And 
you know, I'm not exactly sure that I want to keep all of it, but I hate to throw it because there are some memories attached to it. There's some intrinsic value to it. But I just can't see having, and I've said this before, like when I play Minecraft, I can't see building a huge house in Minecraft, getting all bent out of shape over building a house because you don't really use a house in Minecraft unless you're, you know, doing something else, unless there's a purpose for that house being in there. Just to have a base of operations, if you're playing the game, you'd only need like a 9x9 nine nine block area, you know, to put in your uh, you know, enchanting table and your furnace and all the other stuff. Just that, that's, that's basically all you need. You really don't need that much space in Minecraft because it's not functional. A house is not functional. It provides shelter, but there are other ways to provide shelter in, in the game. Um, but as far as having this house here, I, you know, I want to fix it up because eventually I'm going to sell it. I'm not going to stay here forever. I'm going to stay here as long as I, you know, as Bailey is in school because this is her home. And I don't want her to not have this home. And I want to be close by, of course. You know, I don't want to be too far away from her. Uh, you know, I finally got her back in, in you know, <laughs> an area where I can, we're five minutes away from each other. Not even five minutes away from each other. Another story altogether. But, you know, that being said, I don't see the need to have a lot of things. Um, oh, got a new coal quantum. And some... Okay. But, you know, I, I just... I, the minimalist idea of, of just having... Um, you know, here's the other thing. I, I'm one of those people, like, I have 30 t-shirts that I own. I wear about five of them, and I'm willing to throw none of them away, even though I haven't worn them in years. I wear a lot of clothes just around the house that I don't wear outside. Just, you know, I... T-shirts that have either got a stain on it, they don't fit as well anywhere. Oh, Vault Dwellers, why are you snooping around? Hey, why are you snooping around? You're not looking for that purloined pooch by any chance, are you? Better hurry, the ferals are about to feast. Ooh. Raw dog, disgusting. No roasted cat, yum. Meanwhile, I'm standing there with two cats, you son of a bitch. Thanks for the heads up. You're not so bad for a ghoul. Yikes, there's no time to waste. How come you're being, you know, reasonable? There you go. Because my daddy raised me right. Also because I have a fairly intact amyg amygdala, amygdala, which is part of the brain. No, there you go. Amygdala keeps you from being feral, I guess. I guess that's what they lose over time. These guys have lots of help. I've lost a lot of things in my life, and some things I've wanted to get rid of. I, I, I've thrown away a lot of stuff. It's one of the things that, I, that have become sort of cathartic about this entire situation that I was in, is just that I was able to get rid of a lot of things that I never was going to use ever again. And to just, to break free of, of my, you know, the genetics of, of keeping things around, like, I'm going to use that. I threw away so much stuff. I mean, when you throw away, like, five bags of, of, of stuff that you don't need, and you just look at an empty room and you say, oh, my goodness, I can't believe I did that. that that's beautiful. That's an empty space. It's a place for creativity to happen. Whoop! we got the dog. Yay. That's my that's my feeling is, is, you know, an empty space is a space that can be used for something. If you've already got stuff in a space, then you're kind of trying to cram something else in there. It goes back to that whole idea about the elegant design and coding. If you're trying to, to cram more stuff into a space that doesn't have that much room to begin with, you're never going to be able to evolve. You're going to just keep just adding to the pile, and it's going to be all, uh, you know, different designs and styles and not all meshed together. It's not going to fit. It's going to look stupid. You're going to have no, nothing to tie the room together as if it were like the dude would abide. You know, the Big Lebowski. So that's, that's kind of the idea of what I want to do. I want to get to the point where I can just interchange things in my life and not feel beholden to certain things that aren't that important to me. Still, I have things that I want to, I mean, I have things around me that are, you know, I want to have a, in my office, I want to have an office dedicated to what I do and that has become a part of me and will evolve over time. Um, especially like, you know, just, just uh, you know, decorative stuff. Like I got a, uh, you know, a, a micro, like one of those Volkswagen buses, those old style buses with, you know, the surfboards on top. I got one of those for my birthday, a little die cast model. I love that thing. I got a, uh, you know, one of these figures of, of, of John Cusack from Say Anything with the boombox over his head from a friend of mine for a birthday last year or for my 40th birthday. And I, uh, these are, you know, these are things that I want to hold on to because they mean something to me. They're not going to go sit in, uh, you know, I'm not going to like a conversation piece in my living room. It's going to go into an office, on, onto a bookshelf behind me to be displayed as something that is as a testament of who I am, who I've become over 40-some years of my life. And that's where I want to focus that sort of collection, collecting of things. Hell, I used to be of a mind that I would just want to have a big, huge library of movies 
And I have that, but they're from D the, when DVDs were brand new still, and I or you know from before Blu-rays, and I don't have uh, I don't have any room for them, and I don't really watch them. But I'm not going to get rid of them, of course. But still, you know that's how that works. All right, so everybody's back, or everybody's done. Larry, Ryan, and Sean, you have survived long enough to get the dog, the purloined pooch, and we're going to come back and go back out on another quest. And we got a collie, just got a generic collie. A theme recipe fragment and a wasteland doctor, which we're gonna just scrap. Alrighty, and a nuka cola quantum. Woo! All right, come on back, come on back. Yeah, and we're not gonna bring you in just yet. You're gonna stand outside and wait a little while. Finish up that cigarette. Alrighty, Vault Tech experiment review on the way. Talk to the vault dwellers. Yay! Oh, come on, stop lagging behind there, jackass. What the hell are you doing, Keith? You've been dead for 40 days. You can't run as well. Oh, well. <laughs> Remember Keith dying for and traveling for 40 days? Yep. All right. Here we go. Place your bets. Place your bets. Red or black? I've had this one before. Uh, I said, oh, no, I wanted to do black because, no, it should be black because that was, it was a question. It was a question. You, you want to answer with an answer, not a question. Yeah, that's, that's, remember that was, yeah. So I messed that up. Darn it. But yeah, and, and that's kind of what I also want to do with uh, everything. Everything I work with in my life, I'm kind, you know, trying to eliminate inefficiencies, improve the process, and have the turnover be quality and time, you know, saving, and and, and actually, you know, just get it out there. Uh, I'm st for the last couple of months, and I've probably annoyed the hell out of people with this. At the end of every uh, video, there is a 20 second 23 second uh end card with uh you know me doing a voiceover hey thanks for watching if you want to subscribe go here go here watch this video watch this something for you and buy stuff on my shirt and shirt shop because it was a brand new thing from uh from youtube i wanted to try it out because you can't use the uh, annotations on mobile devices so n anybody that watches the channel or any videos on my mobile device are not going to see that big, long, huge list of, um, you know, go check out these series and my old videos. And f quite frankly, I'm kind of glad because that was getting a little bit, uh, you know, a pain in the ass to have to f go through and, and do those every day. But, you know, that was the process. I would go through, upload the video, and then as they were scheduled out, I would go then and put in all the annotations to all the series. And as the many series as I got going... It became you know, like, oh, I had to, you know, pick and choose my children, which ones I wanted to save. And when this came out, I was like, okay, fine. I'll have the subscribe button, which, you know, whatever. The sh link, I could do external links to my Red Bubble shop. Nope. Hold on. The vault is devoted to nothing but Lady Luck herself. I have done this one, yes. I'm going to draw a card. Guess it win a prize. Guess it's wrong. We may have to just kill you. Uh, Ace of Spades, Queen of Hearts. I'm going to say Queen of Hearts. Always your best bet. You win. There you go. So we've replaced the two <laughs> Nuka-Cola Quams we lost from bringing people back in. And we got a third one from the other one, so it's going to be like a wash, probably. So what has happened now is, is that I've got all these videos. All i got to do is just the 30-second, I recorded a generic voiceover. When I go to do the, the you know the videos, I, I put the 30-second clip at the end for vault, Fallout Shelter. It's just a picture, or it's just a video of the vault, you know, the, the one barracks where you know mr handy goes flying through and then you know, i talk about going to watch this stuff going to watch that stuff not that uh not that big of a deal pretty simple on other videos it's a little bit more involved especially with the skyrim videos i kind of like want to be kind of cool and, and and have you know janassa and meme in the background goofing around and having fun stuff and all kind of you know things like that oh you sons of bitches but that takes a lot of extra time that takes that adds to my ability to, to get quality work done because I'm spending so much time on that. I think it's just like, ah, let's just get it, put it all together, throw it out there, and blah, whatever. I don't want to do that. I want to have quality work. I want to be able to, to provide content that people will enjoy as well as uh, being, you know, learn about stuff. I don't just subscribe to one idea. I do a lot of different things. Jesus, what the hell happened here? Getting our asses handed to us, boys. Kevin, come on. Is this guy still alive? What the hell's going on here? 
He's not moving. Look at him. He's not moving. There's something wrong here. We glitched out. Oh. Okay, there you are. <laughs> that was kind of funny. But, you know, as I was saying, I don't want to continually spend more time because it's getting to the point now where I've had to record things ahead of time, maybe a month or two in advance, and release them just so I can have a backlog of things to not have to record every single night so I can have a life sometimes. Like, Fallout Shelter is definitely, uh, I do it every week. You know, I don't have anything pre-planned. It just, when I, I play, I record, and then I go and I edit and then release on Wednesdays. Um, Grand Theft Auto, Bailey and I recorded a huge crap ton of stuff over the, over the last two months. Uh, you know, over, actually over like three weekends. Oh, here we go. What are the odds, fellow dwellers? I'm the overseer here. Lady Luck is always on my side. Turns out she's also on your side. You get choice of one prize. Junk, caps, clothes, and weaponry. We'll take the weaponry because we can then ch change it to junk if we want to. Critical hit. I think that's what we just did with the Goss Rail we, we had. Alrighty. Keep on going. But we recorded like four or five weeks, weekends, where we just recorded maybe two hours, three hours of, of us playing. And I've been able to schedule that out we started like in early january i've got videos until may um there's not gonna be anything new being recorded for grand theft auto um that we're doing now that won't come out until almost june uh i mean I, you know, I just did one of those five days of you know grand theft auto five five days of five like i did with skyrim and or uh, seven days to die i'm gonna do the same thing with skyrim once i get another backlog of, of videos um but that's, you know, that's, that was my plan. I don't want to have to sit there and try to record every single day and then have to edit every single day. And then I'm, like, just so pressed for time. i got other things I want to do. There's other things I go out at night, you know, if, uh, during the week. Um, weekends, I've got Bailey. We can't always, you know, we're, we're fighting for, for either the PlayStation or for the computer sometimes. It's just it's easier if I only have to record one or two things a, day, uh, a week and then just provide just new content there and then have a backlog of stuff. That's the life of a YouTuber sometimes. If you're a daily blogger or a daily vlogger, that's a different story. You've got to produce content. You've got to find things to talk about. And I used to do something like that. I used to have a blog that I did every day. I, I made my, I got myself in such a hole that I'm like, shit, i got to continue making content every single day, and it's going to get less and less, you know, quality. I don't want to do that anymore, so I don't even blog anymore. And I haven't vlogged because I don't want to do, f I'm not doing face cam, and I just don't have enough time to record me playing and then editing and putting all the, the audio in afterwards. It's very hard to do that. So with this invention of, of having the, the end cards, it was like one piece of the puzzle was gone. I didn't have to go through and find something funny to throw at the end, which I, I still miss kind of doing. I still miss putting the funny stuff at the end that was that I didn't use in the video. That was one of my favorite things to do, but it's just not happening as much anymore. And I don't want to just put stupid shit at the end that doesn't make any sense. So there, you know, there you go. So now I'm just going to do do a generic card at the end with with the information. You're not going to hear my stupid voice saying, "Go do this, go do that." And I hope that it works out better because I think we kind of get the idea. I mean, if you watch, you know, YouTube videos, I think you understand what people want you to do at the end of the video. They call it actions as they call as they name them. No, that's, that's not brandy new. That's the concept that's been out there for years. I hope that you're doing that. I hope you're going and clicking on other videos and subscribing to the channel if you haven't and doing all that stuff. But if you haven't, I mean, I understand. So there you go. Alrighty. Well, we got all the uh, quests done. We talked to all the Vault Dwellers, and we're coming on back. Give you a buttercup. Enhanced Goss Rival, theme recipe fragment, and two more Nicola Quantums. All right, all right, all right. All right, boys, come on back. Oh, we got to burn five of those puppies. That sucks, but we're getting two backs. It's only, we're netting three. All righty. So we're going to collect all their stuff. I'll get rid of the crap later because I can just do that on the fly. I don't have to waste time doing it. Just collect all their stuff. If I find myself in a hole, I can just go get rid of things if I have to. Whoops. Not yet, just not yet. And then you guys, you sell your common stuff. And collect. Yay! Yeah, 
Oh, we have all this stuff. <laughs> it's all duplicate, man. Alrighty, Rachel Mason. Oh, good. We need one of those. Mm, keep that one. Come on in. Get you, ah, son of a monkey. And ain't nobody there. Ain't nobody there. All right. Fire's out, finally. Everybody's doing their thing. We got one lunchbox to open. Nah, I'm going to hold off on doing that for right now. I like when there's, a, you know, I feel like there's, when there's more to open up, it's more fun. <laughs> so let's get the next set of quests ready to go. We've got, oh boy, the ca detective case files, the case of the missing mitt. It's a whole baseball theme going on here. All right, let's get uh, our boys out there. And we're going to send out Ryan. We're going to send out... Uh, where you at, uh, where you at there, uh, where you at, where the hell is, where the flip, Jesus, Larry, and Sean, holy crap, dude, got a lot of people on coffee break, man, a lot of people just sitting around doing absolutely nothing, and I got no reason to do, have them do anything, okay, go forth and conquer, boys, have fun, all right, next quest is going to be the, the next Rocky Jobinson's jersey, that's going to be Randy Campbell and the, uh, the boys. That's going to be Randy Campbell. Where are you at? Hiding on me here. Come on. Jacob and Randy Campbell. Randy Campbell! All right. Get out there. Have fun. And then we're going to do... Let's see. What should we do? What should we do? What should we do? We don't, we don't have anything else going on. Let's might as well do the, might as well do the game show gauntlet because we get five... New Cole Quantums, those are always appreciative. If it's a, if it's one we've already done, I will not subject you to the uh, you know the madness of having to watch me do it. We might just talk. I don't know. It depends. I don't know what we're gonna do. I haven't figured that one out yet. I haven't gotten that far ahead in my life. All right, everybody's out on the way. We will see them next time for the next set of quests. I want to thank y'all for joining me tonight. It is always a pleasure here in the vault. If you've got any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section. I will try my best to answer them as best I can. Someone, uh, I fell for one of those, oh, I fell for those, oh, you little whippersnapper, you, left a comment, said, hey, I just recorded a Let's Play, come check it out and give me some advice. And it was just to get views. It was just to get views. It was a six-minute video about Grand Theft Auto V. It was just to get views. I said, the advice is don't use guerrilla tactics like that because people aren't going to give you the time of day are going to subscribe. I didn't subscribe. I, you know, I will check back in and see if they do anything else. It was, it was an enjoyable video. I will give them that. It was enjoyable. But I understand that they feel the need to do those things in order to try to get views. But that's not how to do it. There are better ways. I don't know what they are, but there's better ways. And maybe, just maybe, by the next couple videos, I'll talk to you about finally making some money off of this channel it's almost there i'm so close and we're all still still the the goal the stretch goal the stretch goal i don't know what the hell that means the goal for the end of the year is of course getting 500 subscribers i was up to 330 as of this morning that's 30 since the beginning of the year that is a positive uh you know three months in 30 i've still got another 170 to go Tell your friends. Come watch us. I promise to not be too uh, too boring, but you never know. It could happen. So thanks again for watching. Everybody have a good night, and peace out, and welcome to March. Bye-bye.